Right, Hollis and good lords, ladies and nobles of the realm. We do have a few announcements to make before we're getting started by attending. You are agree to have your likeness and voice recorded and rebroadcast on all social media channels. Please make sure that your mic is muted, unlike uh, mine was, uh, <laughs> if it wasn't already. Also, please update your display name to reflect your society name minus any titles. You can do this by hovering over your video, clicking the three dots, and selecting rename. Also, for any award recipients, your award medallion and promissory scroll will be arranged to be delivered to you at a future event. On this 24th day of May, Anno Societatis 55, here opens the court of their majesties, Alexander and Tahira. Your majesties, do you have any comments for your gathered populace? Your majesty, would you like to address our populace? Hello, everyone. We hope that you enjoyed virtual Potrero this weekend. We know that we had a blast hanging out with our friends virtually. And we look forward to handing out awards today and seeing everyone's faces. We are so excited to see all the work that has gone into this virtual portrayal. It has been incredible to watch. We're so thankful to everybody who put this together. And we're so, so very thankful for all the people we've been able to see. Yes, I know this is a bit like getting methadone for heroin addicts, but it's a small, small thing that we get to do and we get to see our family and we are all excited to be able to do that. So let's take these small moments and put them all together until we can again be with our chosen family. Your Highnesses, do you have any comments for the gathered populace? Your Highness, would you like to speak? Yes, um, it's wonderful seeing you all. Just going through all the faces before we opened court, it really was wonderful. I'm glad to see everybody here, and I'm really looking forward to meeting everybody in person. And I hope everybody has been enjoying Potrero as much as I have. Your Highness? And, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, it is really good to see everybody again. I'm sorry I wasn't really there this weekend. I have been busy moving. So, uh, however, it was really nice to be able to see everybody last night, and I look forward to be able to see you all more in the future. Everyone, stay safe. Your Excellencies, Gamil and Danielle, do you have any comments for the gathered populace? Greetings, everybody. Hi. It's good to see you all. Um, this has been an amazing weekend. Uh, it's been different, uh, but amazing. <laughs> um, we've been able to see some people we haven't seen in years. Yeah, we've had uh, several people from different kingdoms come. Um, we've seen people as far reaches as Antir, Artemisia, Anstior, and um, Meridies. That's why I'm not Harold. <laughs> and uh, so virtual Petrero has brought together the no world. You know, and COVID-19 can't stop us. We're just going to be together. So this is an unusual time. We can't meet in person. But Calafi has got four more events before the end of this year um, that we have the possibility of getting together. Leif Erikson, the Otimus, Calafi and Anniversary, and then Winter Arts. So we've got a good shot at this. Um, and this is why Danielle and I decided to push off awards until that time that we can see you again. Um, but we are happy to um, bring in our good cousins from Winter Mist and Star Coffin. Um, their anniversaries have been canceled recently, so it makes us really happy that uh, we can have them here today. They can give out some of their awards, and more importantly, they can change over their officers. So, welcome, Winter Mist. Welcome, Star Coffin. Your Excellencies, Roberta and Gita, do you have any comments for the gathered populace? Yes. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, their majesties, their highnesses, and their excellencies for this opportunity to speak to the kingdom and to our barony. And uh, uh, so far, the war has been very entertaining and a lot of fun. So uh, I know that a lot of people have enjoyed themselves, and I know that a lot of people are appreciating these efforts. Thank you. Eden? Everybody. It is so heartwarming to see all of your faces in the beginning cycling through. I haven't seen some of you in two months and it just warmed my heart to see you and I'm so glad that you're here to share in this tonight. And we're going to give out some of our pulling award awards tonight so that uh, these people can be recognized. 
Your Excellencies Einar and Sunifa, do you have any comments for the gathered populace? Hi everyone. Um, we hope everyone is uh, doing well and thank you for allowing us to give out our awards today. Great to see everyone. It touched my heart. <laughs> Miss you all. Thank you. Children have been called the hope of the future and it is an honorable task and worthwhile to bring them to the paths of noble demeanor. And when one of tender years shows a special promise and enthusiasm, it is an event worthy of the crown's notice. Thus was created the Order of the Acorn to recognize those youths who have displayed outstanding service beyond the mean of their years. Now for do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Heinrich Blackwing, Nicholas Francisco de Baracoa, and Thorin Inrafi Arafer. These children have really helped out Calafia with their demos, with their youth combat, and we are so excited to recognize them. Children are going to lead us in the future in the SCA, and we feel that with wonderful children like these, our future is bright. For the newest companions of the acorn, hip hip. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. Your Majesties, their Excellencies of Calafia, Gamil and Danielle, have business with the assembled populace. Let them proceed. Thank you, oh, go ahead. Thank you, Your Majesties. Um, yeah, we'd like to announce the winners of the of Petrero War tournaments that we've had. Um, we actually had a couple of winners from the Rapier Tournament and Heavies. Um, want to announce those? So, uh, winner of the Rapier Tournament, which was a different tournament. If anybody saw it, you, uh, you had a block and you had an attack. And we had a great time doing this. Uh, Danielle and I were actually in the finals. She was blocking, I was attacking. No shock there. Maybe the only time I'm ever in Rapiers. But, <laughs> but we ended up uh, losing in the finals to Artemisia. <sighs> but uh, Giovanni Rateau, uh, it, excellent job. We had a really good time. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we had a lot of participants in that, and, and that was a fun afternoon uh, to be able to get together and play that game. Uh, the heavies winner, boy, this was complex. A bunch of different points in a bunch of different categories, and we had to get a few people to get this together and add it up. It took it about three or four nights to, to figure out the numbering system, but we got it. Uh, but yes, uh, congratulations to Gita, hang out, Magnus daughter, um, winner of the day, nicely done. And then we also had a scavenger hunt that was organized and we had about three different kingdoms participate in that. There was about um, 20 items that you needed to find. And so um, we'd like to congratulate, uh, there were three way winner. So we had the Honorable Lord um, Marcellus de Paravanos. Um, we had with uh, Lady Liva Phila Organa. And then we had Sistine of Atlantia. And we'd like to give a special uh, thanks to all the furry assistants that were needed um, for item number 19, which was any um, other than human wearing garb. So I'm sure uh, there were a lot of animals uh, participating in that part. So. Um, Congratulations for those. And we also had um, a uh, insult uh, competition. <laughs> so um, the winner of the insult competition was Juliana uh, La Badil. So um, from um, Antier. She was the so. spy from Antier, uh, <laughs> as her screen name said. Uh, but yeah, she was, um, I've never seen a contest that started off with, I'm sorry, but, <laughs> and an insult right behind it. Um, yeah, it was, it was something. And um, we'd like to thank all the brave young warriors that defeated the Beast of Calafia that was roaming Petrero this year once again. And um, thanks to Dominic uh, Dunkel for all the assistance with that that he helped out. And of course, all the people involved with the youth, ac youth activities, which would be um, Lady um, Esme, Lady Melis Elizabeth, and Lady Anna Marin, and Lord Caesar. So. Thank you so much for your help with the youth. Yeah, really good job with the kids. I think they had a great time. Um, 
yeah, it, that was a lot of fun. And thank you for allowing me to show them how to make their first SCA sword, rattan. Uh, that'll come in handy in a few years for some of those young people. And so. thank you to all the people that put together presentations to fill our classrooms um, for entertaining and teaching. So thank you very much. So speaking of thank you, is we have um, a bunch of people who did a lot of work to bring this thing home. Uh, we pivoted in a three week period from a real war to a virtual war, um, an absolutely monumental lift. Uh, and they made it look very smooth. Um, it was not by any stretch of the imaginations. There were a lot of meetings. There was a lot of people involved. We're gonna thank as many as possible, but we know we're gonna miss a few and we apologize. Um, but we have, we can't screen share with you because of this setup, but I brought my iPad, so let's give this a shot. So let's see if we can, there we go, how's that? So our first two people that are up, Oliver Dogberry and A. Lee, uh, are Petrero War stewards. Um, yeah, you know, having to pivot and do this, it was just amazing what the two of you have done uh, with the staff and uh, with the event. Thank you so much for all your hard work. Uh, yeah, just an amazing job. Next. Hey, this is actually working. <laughs> there she is, our Seneschal. Um, yeah, Sabina, you have just been rock solid through all of this. Um, an amazing young lady. And this is one of my favorite photos of you. Uh, do as I say, or. <laughs> But um, yes, you've done an amazing job through all this and you know, steering this ship through very hard times. Um, great job, young lady. This lady, Miss Michelle, and your last name, your, your Baron commands you to get a shorter last name because oh my God, hon. Um, yes, yeah, she is new to the SCA, jumped in with both feet, started doing heavies. Um, but yeah, just an amazing young lady has really helped us out with classrooms and scheduling and, and all the things that you wouldn't be able to see in the background she's been able to do. Next, Mate. Um, yeah, another wonderful young lady, just did so much work in the background. Um, yeah, we, we cannot thank you enough. Samantha, <laughs> social media officer, um, uh, deputy right now. Um, yeah, just has come on the scene and just done an amazing job uh, putting the word out there, setting up classes for us online, um, you know, teaching me how to use the, the live video chats, all those things. Um, yeah, terrific job. I love this photo of you. Serafina. <laughs> um, just somebody who really just helps out everywhere. Constantly reminding us of things that we have forgotten. Um, you know, that's so important because we, it's such a big job. And she comes up and says, Did you remember this? No, no, we didn't. So, uh, you know, thank you so much for what you do. Athuna, uh, arts and science officer. This lady put in a tremendous amount of work um, getting up super early in the morning. Uh, her job requires her to be up at 3 30, 4 30 in the morning and then helping us out, schedule classes, uh, organize, organization, just, just an amazing amount of work this lady did. Thank you so much. This guy, ah, oh, Curtis, what can I say about you, man? Um, Curtis is our web right. And all the stuff on the back end, you know, our web pages, our emails, all of our, our um, all of our programming, this guy does it and he never complains. It is a monumental job and he's been doing it for years. Thank you so much for making Calafia look so good. And then lastly, there he is. Hydrate, buddy. <laughs> Tiberius, uh, great job. Thank you for all that you do. Uh, this was just so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, could not imagine this thing had been pulled off in such a short period of time. And uh, yeah, thank you for all that you do. That actually worked. <laughs> At least I hope it did. So yeah, great job, everybody. Uh, we know that we missed some people in there. Um, if we did, we apologize, but. Uh. <laughs> thank you again. And we, and we really look forward to seeing you all in person at Petrero next year. So.
It'll be a good time. This just in, the Duntier camp also won the Armored Gauntlet Challenge. For all of the winners of the day, hip hip, hip hip, hip hip, and especially for the incredible event staff, hip hip, hip hip, hip hip. Whereas it has come to our notice that through diverse great efforts, there are some gentles who have considerably enriched our realm. It is thus our pleasure to raise them to the rank, estate, and title of a lord, lady, or noble of our realm and award them arms. Therefore do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Connor, son of Galen, Iskander bin Jihad, and Kirivi Romani Aeoli. Your Majesties, you are currently muted. The AOA <laughs> is the first award that most people usually receive in the SCA. And it is usually a very special award being the such. And we hope that this special award is, this is a special award rather for these people because they have done an amazing amount of work and this is probably long overdue for them. Champions, officers, and Petrero staff, we hope this is special to you as it is for us. In like manner do their majesties recognize Sir Steen Fjotik, Malchior Rodrigo Xerxes, Aedis of Gildenholt. These two fine gentles of Altavia are an asset to both their barony and the kingdom. If you didn't see the dance video that they put together, it was amazing. Um, and Aedis out of Gildenholt, she participates in their Upper Crest Guild, and I hear amazing things about her as well. We are so happy to award them these AOAs today. In like manner, do their majesties recognize Ormhilder Lop's daughter, Michelle McInturner, and Ty Freeman. Again, special awards to special people. We are very excited to be able to, to award these to these people for the events and things that they have done for our kingdom. Thank you so much. Nobles hereby named, we at this time charge you with the responsibilities of this rank and to consult with our heralds to determine suitable and unique arms. For the newest armagers of Kaid, hip hip, hip hip, hip hip. There are those within our kingdom whose noble demeanor and special contributions have enriched our realm in ways indefinable within the usual system of awards, and yet who are much deserving of honor. It is the prerogative of the crown to recognize such individuals with the title of court baroness. Therefore do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Fabia Varia. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> we are absolutely thrilled to be able to present this particular award. This fine lady has done amazing things for this kingdom, has truly been a nonstop workforce, and I, we feel that this is probably long overdue, and thus we are thrilled to be able to present this award. Ajax, if you would be so kind in my hand, thank you, brother. <laughs> Again, we are thrilled to be able to present such an award. In like manner, do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Talia bint al Athir? So I am so, so happy to be able to do this today. This woman is so gen generous with her time and her beautiful works of art. She has assisted not only me, but many, many other crowns as well. She participates in our barony and does great things for them. And sh she gives of her arts for everything. I am so thrilled to be able to do this today.
Your grace, if you would be so kind with our blessings. <laughs> Again, we are thrilled to be able to award those so noble and so uh, justified. <laughs> so worthy of such awards. For their new excellencies, Fabia and Talia, hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Your majesties, the baronage of Starkoppen, Robertak and Gidia have business and begs your leave that they might recognize members of their worthy populace. Let them proceed. Here opens the court of their excellencies, Robartok and Gita. Their excellencies command all companions of the order of the flame of Starkoffin to please raise your vessels. The flame is the premier service order for the barony of Starkoffin. The current members of the order of the flame are polled by the baron and baroness to select new members of the order. Your excellencies, your members of the Order of the Flame have determined that their numbers are insufficient. Is it your wish to admit another into the Order at this time? It is. It is. For their service to the Barony, and with their assent of their Excellencies, the Order of the Flame hereby admits Crestia Ivanova and Kanade Kabak. Congratulations to both of you. Well done and well deserved. Three cheers for the newest flames of Star Coffin. Hip hip. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. Huzzah. Their Excellencies command the companions of the commanders of the flame of Star Coffin to likewise raise their vessels. The commanders of the flame of Starkoffin recognizes those flame, members of the flame who have given unstintingly of themselves in the service to the barony over a period of years. The current members of the orders of the commanders of the flame are polled by the baron and baroness to select new members of the order. Your excellencies, your commanders of the order of the commanders of the flame, sorry, <laughs> have determined that their numbers are insufficient. Is it your wish to admit another into the order at this time? It is. For his unselfish service to the barony and with their assent of their excellencies, the order of the commanders of the flame of Starkoffin hereby admit Robert Tuck Maklaklan. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so hard to keep that a secret from you. Ridiculous. But okay. congratulations. Your peers have chosen you worthy. And I have your scroll here and your medallion so when you're able to come back home i will give this to you uh i just wanted to say uh he has been the person that's been behind me helping me all through this so everything that i've done has been because he has been there to help support me and he's always been there to help anyone that has needed it well deserved sorry uh for the newest <laughs> member of the order of the commander of the flames of starkoff and hip hip Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! Huzzah. All members of the Orders of the Flame and Commanders of the Flame have their Excellencies permission to lower their vessels, should they want to. Yes. <laughs> their Excellencies command all companions of the Order of Saint Illuminatus of Starkoffin to raise their vessels, however. The Order of St. Illuminatus is a premier arts and sciences order for the Barony of Starkoffin. The current members of the Order of St. Illuminatus are polled by the Baron and Baroness to select new members of the Order. Your Excellencies, your members of the Order of St. Illuminatus have determined that their numbers are insufficient. Is it your wish to admit another into the Order at this time? It is. It is. For their talents in the arts and with the assent of their Excellencies, the Order of St. Illuminatus hereby admits Jade of Starkoffin for her weaving, and Catherine de Bézier for her broad body of work. Congratulations again to both of you.
very well earned, very well deserved. Uh, lots of these two ladies have made so many things for this barony and contributed so much of their time and efforts for this barony that we really think that this is a fantastic honor for both of them. Thank you so much for the service that you guys have provided. Edith? I just wanted to add that the artwork that both of them have contributed and helped teach classes and willing to um, learn new things to help pass on to others is just been amazing and your peers have recognized you. Congratulations. For the newest members of this uh, Order of St. Illuminatus, hip hip. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. All members of the Order of St. Illuminatus have their Excellency's permission to lower their vessels. But their Excellencies do command all defenders of the Flame of Star Coffin to raise their vessels instead. The Defenders of the Flame of Star Coffin is the premier order, fighting order for the Barony of Star Coffin. The current members of the Order of the Defender of the Flame are polled by the Baron and Baroness to select new members of the Order. Your Excellencies, your members of the Order of the Defender of the Flame have determined that their numbers are insufficient. Is it your wish to admit another into the Order at this time? It is. It is. For their accomplishments on the field and with their excellency, the assent of their excellencies, the Order of the Defender of the Flame hereby admits John O'Fallon for his armored combat and Boris Borisov for rapier combat. Um, I wanted to say, actually, I have everybody's scrolls here, so I'm going to hold these up. We will make sure that they get to you and your medallions. But I wanted to say that uh, John for armored and Boris for rapier. Now, John, in the past, I'd say five months, has won our monthly tournament three times. So this is a testament to his skill uh, and his uh, graciousness on the field. His peers have recognized him. And Boris, um, I just have to say, of the times that he is able to join us for monthly tournament, it's kind of a running joke that whether he's going to win or not. And Usually the winner of the previous month is the one that hosts the next month. So it's been kind of uh, difficult for him because I believe he's won a dozen times in the past three years. So congratulations to both of you, well earned. All defenders of the, oh, I'm sorry, for the newest members of the defenders of the flame of Sarkoff and hip hip. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. 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 All defenders of the Flame of Star Coffin have their Excellencies permission to lower their vessels. And here now closes the Court of their Excellencies, Robartok and Gita. Here resumes the Court of their Majesties, Alexander and Tahira. When an artisan has excelled consistently in a particular art or science and has shared that beauty and knowledge with others to the greater enrichment of the realm, then it becomes not only the duty, but the joy of the crown to recognize such endeavor. Therefore was created the Order of the Harp Argent, given by the Crown to recognize exceptional skill in a particular art form or scientific field, which shall be named at the giving of the award. Now, therefore, do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Magdalena Savados for Bardic Arts and Aegis Segarios for Leatherworking. If you have not had a chance to see Magdalena perform, you are absolutely missing out. It is truly a, a, a spectacle to, to behold. So make sure you find her in the near future because she deserves this award and you should go and watch. And for those of you who have not seen Aegis and the horsehair crests he makes, they are absolutely stunning. Every classical fighter I know wants one of his crests. It is beautiful. In like manner, do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Reynold Colling for brewing, and Curtis Fitzauburn, or Fitzosburn <laughs> de Abergavenny for nautical studies. So Reynold is a very talented brewer out of Gildenholt that helps run their guilds, and Curtis is a phenomenal rope maker that is out of Calafia. So Please get to know these gentles. We expect great things from them, and we think that they are very, very talented. For the newest companions of the Harp Argent, hip hip. 
Hip, hip. Hip, hip. The equestrian arts are prehistoric and renowned in song and legend. It requires skill, strength, and patience to excel in this art. There are those, however, who combine the equestrian skill with praiseworthy demeanor, doubly promoting the spirits of these current Middle Ages. Therefore was created the Order of the Chamfron of Kaid to honor those individuals whose skill with equestrian activities and authenticity in appearance bring compliment to themselves and glory to Kaid. Now, therefore do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Patrick O'Malley of Ulidia. This is a very special award for me. His grace is, is talented in so many areas, uh, but he has been the champion for my lady and he is now the champion for my mother. So it is absolutely our pleasure to be able to award him this. For the newest companion of the Chamfron, hip, 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 hip. Your Majesties, Your Excellencies of Winter Mist, for reasons of which you have been apprised, or sorry, and Your Excellencies of Winter Mist, some of your officers do beg leave to be relieved of their duties. Have the successors to these officers been nominated and accepted the responsibilities and duties of their new office? They have, Your Majesty. Before the populace of this realm, let the titles pass. Thank you, officers, for your service to this realm. May all good fortune and goodwill attend you. Officers, please raise your right hand or bear your sword or circlet as an implement to which to swear fealty. Here do I swear by mouth and hand, fealty and service to the crown and kingdom of Kaid, that I will faithfully discharge my office, obeying their majesty's lawful commands in all matters concerning this realm, and mindful that the harmony of Kaid springs from my own deeds, that I will deal courteously and fairly with those of every degree until the crown depart the throne, death take me or the world end. And we, for our part, swear fealty to this, these officers of Kaid and Winter Mist. And to those who serve them, to protect and to get, uh, defend them against every creature with all our power until we depart from the throne. Death take us. Or the world's end. So say we, Alexander, King of Kaid. So say we, to hear a Queen of Kaid. For the outgoing and incoming officers, hip hip, hip hip, hip hip. In the second year of the Principality, the third Prince of Kaid was granted permission from the King of the West to create an armidurous award for service. Thus was created the Order of the Dolphin to honor those persons who have served Kaid above and beyond the normal expectation of their offices and ranks. Now, therefore do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Domingo Ibn Al, or sorry, Domingo Ibn Malik Al Hajari and Durfina Val's daughter. So these fine gentles are a great asset to our kingdom. Domingo went at Estrella when it was all rainy and everything. He helped so many people out of the parking lot with their vehicles that were stuck. And Durfina has been instrumental in teaching great skills in Gildenhall, in particular her blacksmithing skills. So we are so excited to be able to award them dolphins for all their hard work. In like manner, do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Mongo McDonald and Latisse Blythe. For all the hard work they have done with the Patrol War Staff and for their barony, again, we are thrilled to be able to recognize them for this. For the newest companions of the Dolphin of Kaid, hip hip, hip hip, hip hip. Many may pursue their fortunes upon the tourney field or defend their kingdom in time of war. There are those, however, whose prowess in combat inspire their companions at arms and promote the spirit of these current Middle Ages. Thus was created the Order of the Crescent Sword 
to recognize those individuals whose praiseworthy appearance and skill at arms bring glory and honor to themselves and to Kaid. Now therefore do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Paul Spearbreaker. It is always a treat when you can give an award to somebody that you spend a lot of time with. And I have crossed swords with this fine gentleman many, many times. This award is probably a bit overdue, my friend, but I am thrilled to be able to give it to you and I look forward to when we can cross swords again. For the newest companion of the Crescent Sword, hip hip, hip hip, hip hip. Your majesties, the baronage of Wintermist, Einar and Sunifa have business and beg leave that, or beg your leave that they might recognize members of their worthy populace. Let them proceed. Here opens the court to their excellencies, Einar and Sunifa. The ideals of chivalry and honor are based on courteous demeanor. Just as all expect peers of the kingdom shall deport themselves with courtesy, so do we encourage all citizens of the barony to do likewise. To this end was created the company of the noble touch. This honor is awarded to those who have shown true adherence to the ideals of courtly behavior. Therefore do we, Einar and Sunifa, recognize Quintus alias Ajax. Uh, this is a unique honor held by only one individual at a time and passed on by the previous recipient to continue the circle of chivalry within Wintermist. We would like to congratulate Ajax. For the, for the newest companion of the Noble Touch. Hip hip. Huzzah. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. 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 The barony of Wintermist grows according to the labors of its subjects. The seeds of such labors are based in services performed so others may enjoy the dreams we embrace. In ancient Scotland, a ghillie was one who served. Therefore, was created the company of the ghillie flower. In continuation of this ideal, and in recognition of the service provided to the barony, do we, Einar and Sunifa, recognize Heinrich Augustin von Helden, Panchali Madahevyar, Shao the Archer, Sorcha England Inion Flamed, and for the second time due to their long-standing efforts on behalf of the barony, Fabia Varia, Livia Silvana. There is so much we could say about our wonderful members of Wintermist, and I'm gonna do the talking because somebody's getting emotional. <laughs> um, Heldon has been our um, arts and science minister, and he just did a spectacular job. Uh, we could just go on and on, but I'm going to make them short. Uh, Pan has um, autocratted Winter Mist events and is now uh, currently the youth marshal. And she was uh, instrumental in organizing our youth rapier. And Xiao, he just is always volunteering with that big old smile of his. He just is always helping out. And Sorsha is the same volunteer, volunteer, volunteer with raffles, largesse, cooking, serving, and is also now our youth officer. Um, on to our second. So this is the first time we have um, augmented. augmented any of our awards, and we are proud to uh, give them to both our Seneschal. Her Excellency Fabia, who has uh, been our seneschal for about three years and is also um, my court chamberlain and always assisting whoever needs it. Um, Livia has been our exchequer for the last three years and our chronicler for two years. And she is also my chief lady in waiting. I cannot say enough about these two ladies. They, they are, they are winter mist. So congratulations to all of our award winners. For the newest companions of the Gilly Flower, hip hip, huzzah! huzzah. Hip hip, huzzah. huzzah! Hip hip, huzzah! huzzah. <laughs> The practice, skill, and training of the martial arts have long been a major tenant of the society and of the barony. High honor is deserved of those who participate in the many form of combat and whose performance over the years 
have brought acknowledgement and renown not only upon themselves, but also upon their barony and their kingdom. Therefore was created the company of the vein. Therefore do we, Einar and Sunifa, recognize Alva Rosser, Aurelius Optimus, Gunnar Grimson, Jacopo Basilio Rosso, Sinrig Ep Donald, and Sextus Furious Panza. Again, there there is just not enough that we could say about uh, the people in Winter Mist. Um, and these fighters who have refined their skills in these fighting arts, it, it's just amazing. So congratulations to all and well-deserved. For the newest companions of the vein, hip hip. Huzzah! Huzzah! Hip hip. Huzzah! Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah! Huzzah. The barony of Wintermist holds ability in the arts and sciences with as high regard as it does the skill of martial arts. We therefore wish to honor those whose artistry and skill exemplify the standard to which we aspire. Thus was created the Order of the Lyre d'Or for the artisans whose skill in a particular art or science or by virtue of continuing excellence in several fields continues the tradition of Wintermist as a barony of artisans. In recognition of these endeavors, do we, Einar and Sunifa, recognize Canal Murphy for award design, Decimus Helvius Faustus for bladesmithing and leatherwork, Heinrich Augustine von Helden for chainmail and leatherwork, Renal Inyan Mick and Savase for scribal arts and calligraphy, and Seket Arsina for innovative leatherwork and jewelry. All of these members have shown great skill in their arts, and we congratulate them all. There is just so much to say about them. We'd be here for a while. So congratulations. For the newest companions of the Lear Dior, hip hip. Huzzah. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. Huzzah. Hip hip. Huzzah. Huzzah. Here closes the court of their excellencies, Einar and Sunifa. Here resumes the court of their majesties, Alexander and Tahira. Will all companions of the Lux Caedus please raise your vessel. From time to time, it comes to the attention of the crown that an artisan has displayed surpassing skill in some art or science for a span of years and has thereby enriched the kingdom and enhanced the enjoyment for all. Therefore was created the order of the Lux Caedus for such artisans are the light of the kingdom. This order bears with it a grant of arms and ranks equally in precedence with all other grant-bearing orders of Kaid. Now, therefore do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Atticus Romani for wood carving and Genevieve de la Mer for brewing. So Atticus is out of Calafia and he makes some amazing wood carving sculptures uh, and Genevieve is also out of Calafia. She is a brewer that helps run their brewing guild. And um, we are so excited to give out these Lex Caetuses to these amazing artisans. In like manner, do we, Alexander and Tahira, recognize Gemma Rosalia for henna painting and Dagny Starkoffler daughter for Norse studies. Gemma does some amazing henna. Uh, it's, if you've never seen it before, it is truly artwork on skin. She loves to help with both the one-on-one -on -one settings and she has taught many, many classes. So again, our thrill to be able to uh, award her this. And Dagny does Norse studies, uh, which I found really interesting for personas, for costuming, for cooking, and to, to help all around for anybody that may have that Norse persona. So we are thrilled to present these awards. For the newest companions of the Lux Caedus, hip hip. Hip hip, hip hip. All companions of the Lux Caedus, please lower your vessels. Their majesties welcome any member of the populace who wishes to swear fealty at this time. Please do not unmute your mics for this, but please raise your right hand or bear your sword or circlet as an implement on which to swear fealty. Here do I swear by mouth and hand fealty and service to the crown and kingdom of Kaid, that I will conduct myself with dignity and grace, obeying their majesty's lawful commands in all matters concerning this realm. And mindful that the harmony of Kaid springs from my own deeds, that I will deal courteously 
and fairly with those of every degree until the crown depart their throne, death take me or the world end. And we for our part do swear fealty to these people of Kaid and to all their households. To protect and defend them against every creature with all our power until we depart from the throne. Death take us. Or the world end. So say we, Alexander, king of Kaid. So say we to hear, queen of Kaid. Please remember that any award medallions and promissory scrolls will be arranged to be delivered to you at a future event. There being no further business to promote the harmony and welfare of the kingdom, your majesties, do you have any parting words for the gathered populace? Your majesty. We hope that you have enjoyed being at court with us today. We look forward to the time that we can do this in person, but until then, Please continue to participate in all our online Zoom things with our baronies and the kingdom level. Uh, we look forward to speaking with everyone uh, online or virtually until we're able to see each other again. I think Her Majesty hit it right on the head there. We look forward to seeing you all very soon. Your Highnesses, do you have any parting words for the assembled populace? Farewell at this time. Stay safe. I love everybody, and I really do look forward to the day we get to see each other again. Your Excellencies, Gamil and Danielle, do you have any parting words for the assembled populace? Thank you for spending your weekend with us, and we hope that you stay safe, happy, and healthy. Uh, yeah, guys, we're just so proud of Calafia to bring this event to life in the last three days. Uh, speaks volumes to who the Barony is and, and what they can accomplish. Um, we want to thank their majesties uh, and their highnesses for joining us today. Um, Baron and Baroness of Starcoffin, Baron and Baroness of Wintermist. It was great to see everybody. Um, here's to your health. Yeah, here's to your health, everybody. Your Excellencies, Roberta Kangita, do you have any parting words for the assembled populace? We do. First of all, I want to say uh, to all of Kaid and to Starkov, you guys are ever in our hearts during these challenging times. We'd also like to say thank you to those of you who, who are our frontline uh, warriors, ministers of healing, uh, providers of sustenance, merchants on the road, and indispensable laborers. Uh, we thank you for your service to the rebel. You, what you do can only be described as essential. Yeah. Uh, well said, Roberta. Uh, I want to thank their majesties, their highnesses, and their excellencies of Calafia for bringing together all of us this weekend for an amazing, wonderful, fun, interactive, heartfelt, um, exciting at times, uh, nail-biting, uh, fun and interesting event. And thank you for allowing us to come here and, and share some of our populace. And I want to say hi to everybody from Starkoff and that I've seen out there. I love you guys and I can't wait to see you again in person. Stay safe. Your Excellencies, Einar and Sunifa, do you have any parting words for the assembled populace? We would just like to say thank you for allowing us to um, give our bar baronial awards here today. Um, Winter Mist, you, you guys make it so easy for us to be your Baron and Baroness, and we are so happy to be in your service. Thank like you. To thank their majesties, their highnesses. All our fellow Baron and Baronesses. I miss you all, and I look forward to seeing you all again. Here closes the court of their majesties, Alexander and Tahira. You have their majesty's permission to depart and go about the afternoon's business. Long live their majesties, Alexander and Tahira. Long live their majesties, Alexander and Tahira. Long live their highnesses, Pansa and Catherine. Long live their excellencies, Gamil and Danielle. Long live their excellencies, Gamil and Danielle. Long live their excellencies, Robar Talk and Gita. Long live their excellencies, Robar Talk and Gita. 
Long live their excellencies, Einar and Sunifa. Long, Long live, live their, their excellencies, excellencies. Einar and Sunifa. Long live Wintermist. Long live Wintermist. Long live Starkoffin. Long live Starkoffin. Long live Kaid. Long live Kaid. Long live Kaid. Huzzah. Huzzah. Huzzah.